Oh God, what is this? I haven't had a beard like this in four years. What is going on? Like, I'm not used to having this kind of length. Then you're probably saying your hair's not even that long. This is long for me. Wonder what we're all gonna look like once we get out of this big mess. All right guys, we are back. We're back with another video. And today I'm gonna talk to you guys about buying a dog in uh, the current situation that we're in right now uh, with the virus going on and everyone staying at home. The economy is not doing well. People have lost their jobs um, and we don't know exactly how long this is gonna last and you know what direction we're all gonna be going in. And I understand that it's very difficult for a lot of people to be at home um you know they're you know not just for you but for me and everyone else you know the dogs are loving it the pets are loving it that you know their their owners are are at home um but i think there's a few things that people should be thinking about when purchasing a pet or a dog or a frenchie or anything um right now with the current situation that we're in and my first point is why are you buying this dog are you buying it because you've been planning on buying the dog or bringing a dog into your life or is it because you're bored at home you don't have anything better to do and it's an impulse purchase now i think the next question that people should be asking themselves if this is a good time for them to be bringing a pet into their home um you know, there's two two ways of looking at it. Yes, um, it's good a time because most people are at home. They have time to, you know, build a bond with their dog. Um, they have time to train it properly. Um, but on the other side of the coin is, you know, are you gonna be able to afford it right now? And are you gonna be able to afford it later? Now, as of yesterday, April 4th, in Ontario, um, pet stores are no longer considered an essential service. Um, so what that means is that you can no longer go into the store and get your, you know, uh, dog food, cat food, you know, any supplies that you might need. You have to order them online and you have to do a curb pickup. The other challenge is, is that vet, vet clinics are only treating emergency um, calls. So, you know, if you're picking up a puppy at eight weeks, you know, if he needs shots or needs to get set up, you're not gonna be able to do that. Um, they're not taking on those kinds of um, cases right now. So all that stuff is gonna have to wait till later on. Someone that's living in a condo or a, a, a building where you know you're going into common areas like elevators, um, lobbies, and you know those kinds of very areas, you're gonna have to take out your puppy every 30 to 60 minutes, um, so it gets used to that routine of going outside. And I don't think you want to be, you know, exposing yourself to those kinds of environments where it's gonna put you at risk and your family or your loved one of you know getting this virus that's going around and then infecting them so now i know there's a lot of people out there that have never been dog owners they've always wanted a dog but they don't understand what it's like having uh, a dog and being responsible for one um so here is come over here over here on this side people want to see you they don't want to see me they're only here because of you sit Good boy. Props? Give him some props. Thanks. All right. So, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I was saying anymore, but I'm just gonna jump right back into it. Suggestion to you is that there are hundreds and thousands of dogs out there um, that are looking for homes and you could always become a foster parent. You could, you know, take in a dog um, for a short amount of time until that dog finds a new home 
Uh, it's going to give you an experience of what it's like to have a dog and to carry those responsibilities of owning a dog. And who knows, maybe you're going to end up having such a strong bond with that, with that pup that you're not even going to give it up. You're going to end up keeping it. So that is my suggestion to you. Um, try that out. Uh, you know, there's lots of dogs out there, you know, that are that are looking for homes. It'll keep you company. It'll keep you busy. All right, guys, that's it for us for today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you like the content that I've been putting out, then give us a subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this video and what kind of stuff you guys would like to see in the future. All right, that's it for us. And I think we're going to go for a walk now. All right. Take it easy, guys. Bye.